I've literally been sitting here <laughs> ready to start this video for quite a bit and my Instagram app decided to just update so we're just gonna sit here maybe with some lipstick on how did I forget lipstick again Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram and decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total washout. You know, I thought it would be quiet since I'm filming this at like 6.20 in the morning, but I just heard three dogs, two cars, and a siren. <laughs> Anyway, before we jump into this week's products, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this weekly series, and if you have any and like to, hope you will consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post videos every single Monday through Friday. Alright, so let's jump right in. I know there was quite a lot of products. Whoa, that's huge. What is this? Okay, so I actually, so I just opened up Instagram, and this is the first thing that popped up. It's from Indie Makeup Spotlight, and... They said, I don't think this palette is new, but I just came across it and I thought I would share. This is the Lorella Cosmetics on the Edge palette, and it's only $24. I gotta say, uh, the middle rows are your, your normal warm neutrals, but like I'm gonna, I'll turn the photo around. I'll highlight what I'm trying to say. These last two rows that have like the mustards and the greens, and there's still some browns mixed in. But I think it was just a combination of like that army green and that mustard that just pulled me in suddenly. I'm like, mmm. But it's a huge palette and I know I don't use huge palettes. I don't know, what do you think? It's huge, but it's only $24. But I have no idea what the quality is like. I've never heard of this brand before. They ship worldwide. I don't know where they're based out of. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, so I can't be, like, the only one that is really confused by this Revlon cheek maker thing, right? Like, I've seen pictures of people putting it, like, on their lips. I've seen pictures of people doing, like, this with it. Like, actually putting it on their skin. I don't know. Like, it's it's, it's an odd shape. Yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Nothing really positive. Um, I will say the packaging on whatever their lipstick thing is, is gorgeous. Like, I think that, is that a lip balm? Oh, it might be an eye balm? I have no idea. I am just confused. I'm just confused by the shapes, but the, the packaging of this lipstick, if it is a lipstick, is gorgeous. <laughs> so ColourPop just launched a whole bunch of mascaras, and I think it's interesting that they came out with colored mascaras as well. I didn't pick anything up. I don't know if I will. I mean, I am curious. I am still working on like my favorite mascaras video, so I am curious. I, this might get me to place a ColourPop order. I don't think I would get any of the colored mascaras, but I do, I just want to try that black one out. So how much are they? $8. We'll see. I'll probably pick one up, at least before that video. And I've been working on that video for like months. <laughs> So at some point I will try it out, but probably not the colored ones, most likely just the black one. I don't know what this one curl is doing. It's just, come out, go back, there. Put it in timeout. I've never actually tried any lip products from Hourglass. I've really only stuck to like their powder products, but I do kind of like that this looks like you could stab somebody with it. That's kind of cool. But uh, would I actually ever try it out? No. <laughs> And the curls back. So we finally saw what Kylie's Valentine's Day collection actually looks like. And you know what? It looks very Valentine's Day. I'll give it to her. The packaging is adorable. Like, I love that they look like little Valentines. Cute as hell. The palette itself... I mean... I'm not drawn to it, but I can see, like, what they're going for. Like, it's obviously very Valentine's. It's obviously very red and romantic, and the swatches look gorgeous, of course. But it's probably not something I'm going to pick up. I don't think I would, like, this is actually, like, I'm not drawn to anything in the collection. So we've got the palette, they've got, like, a lip set, but it just looks like a nude and then a pink that has a gloss on top of it. I think the only thing that I really liked was the packaging, because it looks like an actual Valentine's, and you can write to and from on it. Just... Yeah, so 
uh, A plus for packaging, but uh, like a B for effort on the products. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it'll probably still sell out. We'll see. So uh, I see that there's a new collab for sunglasses. I, I really don't get the whole sunglass collab thing, honestly, because like if you're a makeup influencer, even if you're into like more luxury kind of products and everything, doesn't don't glasses, like, unless you take serious precautions, don't they just rub your makeup off on your nose? Like, I actually got to the point where I stopped wearing sunglasses as I was walking to the train station just because it would just make my makeup look like trash around here no matter what I did. So I Honestly, I don't get this at all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So KKW Beauty is coming out with some lip sets for her Valentine's Day collection. They're $65. $65 and you get four lip products in each. I guess if you do the math, still, huh. You have a best of reds, a best of pinks, and a best of nudes. Just, no. Okay, so Pharmacy Beauty, Pharmacy, yeah, Pharmacy Beauty just came out with a new all natural deodorant stick. Uh, it's called like the Freshen Up All Natural Deodorant. I've never tried natural deodorants, quite honestly, because I, TMI, I tend to sweat a lot, right? And I like a strong deodorant and I actually found a deodorant that works really well for me. I, I got it because of Taylor of the Taylor. She actually recommended this amber deodorant from Old Spice, I think it was. And I bought two bottles of it, like two little containers of it. And I've been loving it. Like it lasts all day. It doesn't smell like a, a guy deodorant. It smells really nice. And it just got discontinued. So I still have a stick back there that I haven't opened up yet, and I just bought a pack of three off of Amazon. But I'm assuming after I finish up those three, it'll probably be a few months before I get there. But after that, my favorite deodorant's gonna be gone. <laughs> so I've been looking for a new deodorant. I've heard really mixed things on natural deodorants. So I'm looking for more feedback. If you've ever tried a natural deodorant, if you do tend to sweat a lot, could you let me know your experience down below? Because I have no idea where to start. So we finally seen the inside of the Too Faced and the Pretty Mess collaboration. There's actually like a whole collection, but I'm, I'm just gonna kind of skip the rest of the products in the collection and focus on the palette. Um, this looks very similar to the Kylie palette we just went over, um, which also, if you just look at the tones, you're looking at Modern Renaissance, but they definitely have some more textures in here. Personally, my pet peeve is the way the shadows are arranged in the pan and the kind of packaging it is because I know that's going to get so messy, which I can, you know what, I'll give them kudos for really following through on their pretty mess theme because this is a hot mess <laughs> and that's what they were going for. So can I really criticize them for being a hot mess if they're now embracing it? I don't think I can. <laughs> so i'm gonna just pass on the whole collection not really that interested but you know what i have to give them kudos for the dedication to the theme <sighs> okay so ColourPop, of course came out again again with another collab with Kathleen Lights. And it's a Zodiac themed because of course it is. Okay. My personal feelings aside, I still feel icky about Kathleen Lights ever since her whole drama thing went down that she never really apologized for and people keep giving her passes for. But ever since then, I haven't supported her brands, her channel, or any of her collabs. So that being that, I, I wouldn't get this collection anyway. Aside from that, looking at the actual products, they're just pigments. Now, I think ColourPop, this is a good choice for ColourPop to do because they're coming out with literally everything. Like they're, they're gonna have literally everything you could ever need for makeup in one place. So they're slowly working on world domination as we know it. So pigments, of course, they were eventually gonna get to them anyway, but why release them in a collab? And why do them Zodiac themed? You could have just come out with a line of pigments. People still probably would have bought them. But, okay, so it's Zodiac themed, they're pigments. This collab probably took all of two minutes to plan. Be like, 
whoa, Pisces is probably blue. Whoa. Like, you know. Yeah. And they already basically came out with loose shadows that everyone used for two seconds and forgot about, myself included. Like, no one really needs this. I'm not sure who asked for this. I want to see the Zodiac thing, like, fly out the window, like, and just leave. I'm so sick of the Zodiac collections. And even that being said, my favorite Zodiac products from BH Cosmetics, they're going overboard now and coming out with a Zodiac palette each month for each sign, and they're not even that great. Just stick to the originals. Though the Love Sign one is actually really good, so those two original big palettes, amazing. The little mini palettes that are coming out, eh, I think they should have stopped with the big palettes. Just saying. That being said, please, can we stop the Zodiacs? Can we, can we stop collabing with the same two people over and over and over? Even as, even when, like, a collab comes out with someone I don't know, I might, like, say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know who this person is, but you know what? I'm exposed to that person. I check them out. I see what they're all about, and that's, like, what a collab is supposed to be about. I don't want to see the same three people coming out with the same repetitive products over and over. Is anyone else frustrated? Sephora is coming out with like their, their in-house brand. They're doing a Lunar New Year collection and the, the packaging is adorable. Like it's like a little piggy. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, but the eyeshadow palette is really basic. It actually looks a lot like modern Renaissance. Look at that picture. <laughs> you see like the burnt orange, you see the reds and the pinks and the mm. So I don't really think if you have modern Renaissance, you need to pick this up. I do really like the brush holder. That little cup is really cute, uh, but the brushes themselves look kind of, mm. especially, wait, is that like supposed to look like a pig nose? Get out of here. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. Violet Voss just came out with, I guess, a mini version of their Holy Grail palette. I still haven't tried out Violet Voss. I've been meaning to do that, but none of the palettes are really like, I think maybe the Flamingo palette tempted me, but I ended up not getting it. I'm actually planning on doing a video all about like makeup I wanted that I never bought and why. So if you guys are interested, let me know if you would like to see that video down below. But that being said, the mini version looks just like Modern Renaissance again, and I don't feel like we need it. All right, so my camera is about to die, and I feel like we've gone over quite a few products. I didn't get too much into indie like I wanted, but I think we're caught up on trend mood as of right now. So let me know down below what you thought of all these products, if you're interested in picking any of these up, or if you're just really more committed to your no-buy than ever before. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. I didn't do a thumbnail. Ugh. Ugh.